Hello, this is the Happy Vanna Pokemon Podcast with your hosts, Dan and Nick. We talk about everything Pokemon. Oh yeah, and so today we'll tell you how we did, or what we ended up thinking of our deck that we made last week, and we'll be going over the Firefang Dragon deck, which is pretty old. Oh, and don't forget we're going to open our pack. Oh yeah, our pack, always our pack. Yeah, pretty exciting. Uh, yeah, that building battle box is one of our things that we're going to go over. Yeah, that was... <laughs> but uh, we had a great turnout of views from last week. Thank you, everybody, for viewing our our podcast on YouTube. Uh, our winner for last week was... VY Dang. They actually guessed the energy type correctly, so they already got their code. Um, they are good to go. Yeah. Thanks, thanks VY. Thanks for listening. Yeah. And uh, so what we got to say about the building battle box? Ooh. Hmm. Ooh. Hmm. Building battle box. Well. Poor. Yeah. I think uh, I think last week's uh, episode, unfortunately, we just got a really bad pull altogether. Uh, everything was just kind of subpar. It didn't really fit together. It was a mess. Was the, the, the packs that we got, they were... We didn't get any, anything that really helped us out. It was just kind of here and there. and We didn't get some any good supporters to support our deck. I mean, it was just a real mess. I think if we were in pre-release tournament with that box itself, I think we would have been bombing out unless someone did worse than us for pulls. But it was a pretty poor pull for a building battle box. Uh... But we did the best we could and had the made the best deck possible out of those cards. Yeah. Now they'll ju- be, just be cycled into the rest of the cards with the uh, battle uh, Rebel Clash. It'll be with the rest of the Rebel Clash cards and yeah, they'll, it'll go on to make other decks. So it's still good, good, good cards to have. A lot yeah. of good cards that we had. In yeah, there. yeah. So I don't, I don't have a whole lot of problems with it. Um, any thoughts on the on that deck at all, Nick? Um, I mean, it, no, not really. So, really, the best part about it is, is the codes. I mean... And the Professor Magnolia. Oh, I guess we did get the Professor Magnolia. Professor's Research, yeah. Professor's Research, yeah, out of the... And the Quick Balls and all that. The starter pack. Yeah. So, that was pretty good. I mean, the I guess the promo card is always good. It's always good to put a promo card in and get a promo card, so that's always good. Yeah. If you can, I suggest trying to pick them up. They're definitely worth it because you get enough to really make a deck. Yeah. So definitely, if you try, if you can buy one online, or if you can go to uh, GameStop, they normally have them. Where else do they normally have? Where Sometimes else Target, them? right? Uh, seldomly Target, but Target, I guess, is a possibility. Do they ever have them at Walmart? I don't, I don't see them at Walmart. I don't do ever. that much shopping. No. Or if you got a local game store, normally they'll have them somewhere that you play Pokemon or. That has Pokemon tournaments. They generally have the building battle boxes. Yeah. So, with that being said, I definitely think that it's something to go ahead and get if you can. Yeah. So, ready you to ready move on to, mo- to our pack? Yeah, let's move on to our pack because oh, I think that righty. I think that building battle box is a dead issue. Yeah. I think it's fire today. Fire energy. Fire energy. Ah. You're getting all fiery, aren't you? Yeah. Get it? Fire. I, fiery. Fire energy. Very clever. <laughs> I am going to go with, uh, oh, Psychic. Psychic. Yeah. Think you're a psychic over there? I think I'm a psychic. Get it? Because it's a psychic <laughs> energy. <laughs> yeah, psychic energy. All right. Oh. Oh. All right. All right. So that's, that's it. Okay. So now what we'll do is we'll put it on the side and people comment on what kind of energy and... As VY can attest to that we do give out the codes uh, to the person with the right answer. So, yeah. please answer. I would like to see some more people commenting and saying, Hey, it's it's XYZ color, or it's this energy, or it's that energy. Yeah. You know, we just we want to hear from you guys. So, go ahead and post. It's going to be... Uh, our podcast will be up, and go ahead yeah. and post. So, now we'll get on with the cards on the deck. All right, so first we have a Tranquil. We've been over him before, so we'll just move on. Move along. The Metacham, 110 HP, Fighting-type, 
Stage 1, first attack, yoga kick, 40 damage. This attack's damage isn't affected by weakness or resistance, 1 fighting energy. Um, then we have psychic, 3 colorless, 60. This attack does 20 more damage for each energy attached to the opponent's active Pokemon. Weakness is psychic, resistance nothing, and retreat is 1. I want to say we went over him too. Yep, looks yeah, familiar. But the does. Tranquil was in the deck. and The Tranquil was, was in the deck. Him. Got it, got it. That's why I went over it. Morgurm. 90 HP, stage 1, darkness, um, 1 darkness energy, bite, 30 damage, 1 darkness and 2 colorless, false surrender, 60 damage, this attack's damage isn't affected by effects from your opponent's active Pokemon, uh, weak to grass, retreat is 2. Been over that one too. Oh, yep. here's a new one, Growlithe. Ooh, Growlithe. 80 HP, fire type, first attack, odor sleuth, flip a coin, if heads, put a card from your discard pile into your hand. Second attack, two fire and a colorless, fire claws, 60 damage, weakness, water, and retreat is two. Wow. Next, another card we've been over, Impidimp, 70 HP, darkness, uh, for one darkness energy, beat, 10 damage, for a darkness and a colorless, stampede, 20, weakness, grass, retreat is one. Next, we have the Bunnelby, 70 HP, colorless. One colorless energy, burrow, discard the top card of your opponent's deck. For three colorless energy, headbutt bounce, 50 damage, weakness fighting, retreat is one. I think we went over that one too, huh? Yep. You sound very familiar. Oh, Phantom. Uh, we also went over him. Uh, 60 HP, grass type. Uh, one colorless energy, dark guidance, put a basic Pokemon from your discard pile onto your bench. One grass and one colorless, seed bomb, 30 damage. Weakness is um, fire, and retreat cost is one. All right. Next, we have a Dreepy, 60 HP, first attack, one psychic energy, quick attack, 10 damage, flip a coin. If heads, this attack does 10 damage more. Weakness is darkness, resistance is fighting, and retreat cost is one. All right. Next, we have a reverse hollow hair term, 80 HP, psychic type, stage one. Uh, first attack, Calm Mind, heal 30 damage from this Pokemon. Second attack for two colorless, Brutal Swing, flip coin, if heads this attack does 30 more damage. Weakness is darkness, resistance is fighting, retreat cost is one. And so what is he, a rare? He is a uncommon. Okay, and he evolves from? Uh, Hetena. Because he is a stage, is stage one? Yes. Okay, so he's stage one, so there we go. Alrighty, and then for our final card, we got a Milotic V. Ooh, look at that card. 210 HP, water type, looks really nice. Um, for one water and two colorless, aqua impact, 10 damage, this attack does 50 more damage for each colorless in your opponent's active Pokemon retreat cost. Second attack, hypno splash, uh, for one water and four color, uh, three colorless, 150, your opponent's active Pokemon is now asleep, weakness is electric, and retreat is two. All right. Not a bad pack. Nope, not a bad pack at all. I'd consider uh, that a winner. It's a good one. Yeah, no trainers. I like to get at least one trainer. It's yeah. always good to get a trainer, you know? Yeah. You see some good uh, stuff. Uh, good trainers always good to have. So. Yeah, true. And there's a lot of good trainers in Rebel Clash. Yeah, true. So I, I like to pull a trainer almost every time. We're getting to that part where we're seeing a lot of repeats of those cards. Yeah, sure are. Uh, maybe we can start skipping some. We'll say we... We went over it. Please check out your last podcast. Our last podcast that went over it. We'll have to. We'll have to talk more about that. Me and Nick and decide if that's what we're gonna do. Yeah. If you missed any of them, go back and check them out. Now, like me and Nick, like Nick has said, we're gonna go over the Fire Fang Fang theme deck from Ex Dragon. Now, me and Nick have already opened the the box just because we wanted to make sure that everything was there. Because you get a box, you don't necessarily know if it's a it's good or not good but this has all 60 cards it had everything in there so it was wrapped in the uh, Pokemon uh, cellophane so we're pretty we're pretty confident that it was from whoever we bought it from it was a, this is an original opening yeah we have everything open everything laid out so we're all good to go but we did look through it so here is what we have. Well, we'll start with just, well, I'm just going to start by saying the box is quite an odd shape because it's, it's a bit older, and it's different from the deck boxes that we have now. Well, 
I disagree. Uh, it's the same shape as the boxes that you would buy your deck in. But the thing is, it doesn't have a deck box. There's no deck box that comes with it. Yeah, I could see that, but I think the whole thing is just like a different design, like a different idea is how I see it. Right, but like it will, so if you were, if you're buying the Zacian deck that we went over, the Zacian deck would look oh, like yeah. this box. Yeah. yeah. This box has the same shape as the Zacian deck. Now it doesn't have the, the open window in the front like the Zacian deck. It is a solid box as opposed to the Zacian deck box, which has. A window in the front so you can see the Zacian on the front. This yeah. one this one here is a solid box, but opening up it doesn't come with a deck box, which all your new decks come with a deck box to keep to store your cards. Yeah. So we have we have all these cards ready to go and we've kind of put them out so we can we can go through them and talk about them a little further than what, where we're at. Yeah, and one more quick thing: this this box is back when Pokemon still put Nintendo on the side of their right their, their products. Yeah, which is pretty cool. Yeah, it is pretty neat. So Pokemon USA, it doesn't have a deck list on the back like the new, uh, all the new, all the new decks have the deck list on the back, so you know what yeah. you're getting. This is really a toss up, and you just gotta hope you get cards that work out yeah should i are we gonna read the back or are we gonna just skip it here you can read the back Go all on. right should i should i read the whole thing or just the fire thing or uh we're gonna read through the whole thing just so that you guys get get an idea what's on there all righty take your game to new heights rise above the competition with powerful ex dragon pokemon they take flight for the first time in the pokemon e trading card game introducing the all new game and deck building strategies capture and train them then swoop in for victory and there's the fire fang deck who says fire and water don't mix with the attacks like dragon flame and wave splash they do turn the dragons in this deck loose and sink your fangs into your opponent whoa yeah <laughs> then this deck contains one rare holographic foil card 24 energy cards two rare cards 11 uncommon cards some in, some in multiples and 22 common cards, some in multiples for a total of 60 cards. All Fire Fang theme decks contain the same cards recommended for players ages 10 and up. This box contains everything you need to play the Pokemon trading card game. Expand your Pokemon collection with additional game cards, booster packs. Each player must have a 60 card deck of Pokemon cards to play. Then it also says, in this box you will find 60, po 60 Pokemon deck, including specially selected holographic foil card, one Pokemon coin, one rule book, one card list, damage counters. Alright, sounds pretty good. Yeah. Sounds pretty good. Yeah, this is... Alrighty, so, uh, you want to start with the trainers or the Pokemon? Well, I think we should probably start with... Uh, let's start with the Pokemon. We always start with Pokemon. That makes yep. sense, right? Yep, yep. So, uh... Oh, whoops. So, first we have a Bagon, or Bagon as some people call it. I'm not really sure. Um, he's a colorless Pokemon. He is a basic. He has 40 HP. Uh, for one energy, he has Headbutt, which does 10 damage. And for a fire energy and a colorless energy is flare and it does 20 damage his retreat cost is one. Oh, pretty good yeah we run we run four of him okay and so um he's pretty, pretty basic pokemon for a for basic pokemon i guess so, <laughs> pretty basic for a basic pokemon yeah I, yes. mean, I don't know i don't know if there's a better way to put it or not no but, that sounds like a pretty good way of going with it so uh next we have his evolution which is shellgon 70 HP, and he is colorless. He is a stage 1, because he is the evolution. And he doesn't have an ability, but instead he has a pokey body. Which, um, his pokey body is energy guard. And it says, as long as Shellgon has any basic energy cards attached to it, damage done to this Shellgon is, uh, by an opponent's attack is reduced by 10 damage after applying weakness and resistance. So he already has, a 
nice little uh, resistance going on from your opponent's attacks. Right, so that's good. Next, for two colorless energy, we have Rollout. It does 20 damage, and his retreat is a little bit more bulky. It is two. Two? Okay. Yeah. So, next, we have the Salamence. Oh, wait, we do run two Shellgun in this deck. Two? Yes, two. Okay. Next, we have the Salamence. He has 100 HP. He is a stage two because he evolved from the Shellgun. And he also has a Pokebody, which is Intimidating Fang. As long as Salamence is your active Pokemon, and the damage done to your Pokemon by an opponent's attack is reduced by 10. So it's similar to the other Pokebody. And then his sec uh, he has 100 HP. I'm not sure if I mentioned that. Okay, 100 and he's colorless. HP. Yeah. And then now his Salamence, he's probably the main attacker in this deck. Yeah, well, it definitely says on the box. Right? Well, it has his picture on the box. Yeah, so, so that's what you would guess. I would guess that would be... And uh, his second attack is Dragon Flame for a Fire, Water, and Colorless, 40 damage. You may discard an energy card attached to Salamence. If you do, this attack does 40 damage plus 20 more damage. That would total you up to 60 damage. His retreat cost is 2. We do have two of the Salamence. Two of the Salamence. Yeah. Well, it's good, because if he's going to be your main attacker... Now, like, he is a stage two, so he's going to... He might be a little bit trickier to get might out. Might be a little harder to get out. I don't think we have any rare candies in this deck. And uh, so I think that is why we would be a little trickier to get him out. So what we're going to do is Nick's just going to keep on with the Pokemon, and I'll go through the trainer's... And we'll go that route today. Alrighty, switching things up. I like it. Yeah, right? Alrighty, so um, next we have the Corfish. He has 40 HP. He's a water. Um, his He's a basic Pokemon. His first attack is Poison Claws, which is one colorless energy. Flip a coin if has the defending Pokemon is now Poison. And his second attack for one water energy is Bubble. Flip a coin if has the defending Pokemon is now Paralyzed, and he does do 10 damage. Bubble. His weakness is electric, and his retreat cost is one. His his weakness is electric. Yeah. Does that seem right? I guess so. You know, usually all your bird types are. Well, there's some weak. there's some water types. Which are usually bird types, like. Well, what about Gyarados? Gyarados is weak to electric. Sometimes. Okay. All right. I'll buy into it. I guess. There are exceptions. Okay, so we got three of those, or four, well, we got we four got of those. We got four of those, yeah. Okay, that's fine. So, uh, next we have Crawdnaught, and we, um, we only have one of them, which is kind of odd. He's our holographic one that they talk about that's on the box. Yeah, uh, he has 80 HP, he's a water type, um, he's a stage one, obviously, and he does have a pokey body, um, which is Power Pinchers. And as long as Crawdnaught is your active Pokemon, when any of your active Pokemon does damage to the defending Pokemon, the attack does tw 10 damage more. And then the second attack is Guillotine, which is water and two colorless, does 50. Weak is weakness to electric, and retreat is two. Now, his Pokebody is really weird, because it says... As long as Crawdnaught is your active Pokemon, when any of your active Pokemon does damage to the defending Pokemon, the attack does 10 more. But the thing is, you can't have two active Pokemon, and he needs to be an active to use the ability. So he's really the only one that it affects, or the Pokebody, sorry. Which is kind of odd to me. It is kind of odd. But back then, Pokemon was... It wasn't doing as, things. Yeah. It wasn't as clean as it is now, and I don't know if we mentioned, but this deck is from 2003, so it's quite old. Yeah, older than me. So that's something to uh, think about. We, it would it wouldn't be easy to come by to get this deck. It would be easy to put together if you really wanted to put together, because these cards are not, you know, other than the Salamence and the Crawdnaut. That's probably about the only rare card you have in this whole deck. Oh, yeah. So, now, 
with that being said, we're just going to continue on. Yeah. And I, I was looking at the deck list online because I uh, wanted to make sure that there was only one card on it. And there is. That's all it is. But, so, thinking that this deck might not be what it's supposed to be, but it is. So, we'll just move along. Alrighty, next we have the Horse Sea, 50 HP Water Type. He is a basic, and his first attack is Paralyzing Gaze. Flip a coin if heads the defending Pokemon is now paralyzed. His second attack is Wave Splash, 20 damage, 2 colorless. And his weakness is electric, and his retreat cost is 1 colorless. Alright. He's not... He's a... Of course, he's been around for a long time. He's been a starter poke. He's been in the base set. Yeah. The original base set, so... You can't really not Corsi. Yeah, we do run four of the horsies. Okay. Next, we have the Seedra, 70 HP water type. He's a stage one, obviously, because he evolved from the horsey. Uh, and then his first attack is agility, two colorless energy. And it does 20 damage. Flip a coin. If had, prevent all effects of a, an attack, including damage, done to Seedra during your opponent's next turn. His second attack is waterfall. For a water and two colorless, it does 40 damage, its weakness is electric, and its retreat cost is one. And, once again? We run two. Okay, and Seedra also is a from base set. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. An original Pokemon, so... Yeah, he's a, he's an oldie. Yeah, he's an oldie, but a goodie. Keep, keep, they keep on putting him out, so he's still a good card. Yep. So next, we have Numo, uh, 40 HP, fire type. For a basic Pokemon, his first attack is Fire Breathing, does 10 damage, and flip a coin. If heads, this attack does 10 damage plus 10 more damage. Alright. Second attack, Tackle, 2 colorless energy, 20 damage. His weakness is Water, retreat cost is 1 colorless. Okay. We do one run, colorless. We run 4 of the Numos. Well, and that would probably make sense because we probably play the Evolution. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Because next we have Camera Up, 80 HP Fire Type, Stage Which is the 1. Evolution. Yep. Evolves from the Numo. Uh, his first attack for Fire and a Colorless is Super Singe, 20 damage. Flip coin if heads the defending Pokemon is now burned. Burn. Burn, baby, burn. <laughs> next we have Ram for 1 Fire and 2 Colorless, 50 damage. Weakness is Water, Retreat Cost is 2. We run two of the camera. And you can see that the damage from these Pokemon to the Pokemon that are being played now is just so different. Like, oh, yeah. all that time that they spent, we're talking 17 years between when this deck was made and now. So 17 years ago, they were, they were only doing minimal damage. Now we're talking about Pokemon that are doing... 150 damage, 180 damage, 210. I'm, yeah, it's crazy. It's, it's crazy amount of damage that they're doing now. But the Pokemon are getting stronger and tougher and harder to beat. So, there is a payoff, I guess. Yeah. I want or an evening out, I guess. I want Pokemon to just do a complete reboot. Cut everything. Just a brand new base set. And the Pokemon are back to doing like 10 damage. Brand new base set. Well, we, we could always go back to playing base set if you want. Yeah, that's the thing, though, because I'd like to see it in tournament, you know? Oh, Cause tournament play. I don't know how much people would like that, because it, it'd really slow down the game, you know? Yeah. You know, you're losing all those trainers, and you're losing all the... Maybe keep the trainers and just... Yeah. Go just drop all the hardcore Pokemon. <laughs> yeah. All the GXs, EXs, Vs, all that stuff. Just cut them. Yeah, because Pokemon, they, they probably wouldn't do it, though, because they like to print money. They just like to print cards that will give them... The big bucks. Right? They could have a tournament where it's just non-V, non-GX, yeah. all one card, one prize card Pokemon. Yeah. But right. I, I don't know. Maybe I'll write a strongly worded email or something. That might be uh, something that they need to do. Because people might want to do that and have just a more of a base set. Yeah. Or like they do on the TCG game, on the online game. Where you can just play theme deck battles. Oh, yeah, or the legacy decks. Right? If they have, like, a theme deck battle for a uh, tournament, that would be great. Then people are all on the same playing field. 
you can choose one of these theme decks, which would be anything from... It, it would have to be anything from the Zacian deck to the Rylaboom deck to anything that's basically in Sword and Shield and maybe a little bit of stuff that's at the end of Sun and Moon. Yeah. That would make, the, make all these cards, all that play more even because if you go to a tournament, you're playing a theme deck, you know the person across from you is playing a theme deck too. Yeah. Now your only disadvantage is that they might be playing a theme deck that can counter your theme deck that you have weakness to. That would be the big disadvantage. Yeah, and another reason that helps is because people who are starting off probably don't have the same amount of cards as the people who've been playing for a while. And that might hurt their... Like, they probably won't win unless they're extremely lucky or something, too. Or even, too, a person that... If you're doing theme deck uh, challenges or matches... A person off the street can walk in that knows how to play Pokemon, could go to the counter in the store and pick up a theme deck that they're selling and sit down and play in that tournament with yeah. that theme deck. Yeah. Now, do they need to have sleeves? Probably not, but it'd be nice. Yeah. But everything should be in that deck to play theme deck challenges, and they should start having that out there for the average player so that... You know, you win a theme deck deck tournament, you should get a prize out of it. Yeah, you recently became a professor. You, we should do that if we find a local card store to... Have theme deck challenges or theme deck tournaments. Yeah. I think it's a... It's a... It's a good idea. It's an idea worth looking into and start moving forward with it, I think. Yeah. So there we go. A little, sorry, a little off the topic because we are talking about theme deck... A uh, theme deck... And we get into a lot of theme decks. Well, we've gotten it. This is our second theme deck. Obviously, it's an older theme deck. Third theme deck. This is our third theme deck? Well, are we counting the League Battle deck? I don't think so. That one... So... Okay, so if we were playing a theme deck yeah, you're tournament, right. you're, you're not going to be able to pull that building... That that battle Yeah, that wouldn't out. be fair. That wouldn't be fair. Because right. if someone had, say, a Mewtwo theme deck... They'd get crushed. Yeah, you're right. So, yeah, I don't, I don't think that would count. Yeah. That's a, that's a, that's a battle deck theme uh, deck, not a theme deck. Yeah. This is, this is what we're going over is a theme deck. This is our second theme deck that we've gone over. I like to go over theme decks because they're real. They are what they are. Yeah. So, anyways, uh, hmm. back to our topic. Yeah. Talking about this deck, and we're gonna. F- I think these are the last... This is the last Pokemon. Okay, last Pokemon. Go ahead. So uh, we have the Slugma, 50 HP fire type, one colorless energy, ram, 10 damage, a basic Pokemon. Second attack, one fire energy, one colorless, luring flame. Switch your opponent's bench Pokemon with one of the defending Pokemon. Your opponent chooses the defending Pokemon to switch. The new defending Pokemon is now burned. Weakness is water, retreat cost is two. We run three. That's the last Pokemon. All right. Pretty good. There's a lot Kinda of good Pokemon. Scattered. Yeah, it's heavy on Pokemon, it seems like. Uh, it's one of the things that does seem like it's heavy on. So, uh, what I'm going to do is I'll go through the trainers, and then I'll count the energies out, and that'll be... Well, on the back, it said there were 24 energies. There's 24 energies? Okay, so there's 24 energies. Uh, half of them are water, half of them are uh, fire, and we'll get to that in just a little bit. So... Our first trainer is Energy Recycle System. This is a, a card that is in standard play right now. So we could actually take this card out of our deck and play it in one of our standard decks now that we play. So it could be put into play in a regular tournament right now. And what it is is search your discard pile for a basic energy card. You may either show one basic energy card to your opponent and put it into your hand or show three basic energy cards to your opponent and shuffle them into your deck. And so this is this is a playable card for right now. And the uh, the new energy recycle system has the same art. Does it? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Well, these cards, uh, the way these cards look, it's they have the yellow border with a gray inlay on the inside, and 
Yeah, they're kind of neat looking cards. They, yeah. I, I ain't gonna lie to you, they are really neat cards. Especially so, for what we have now. Yeah. Going back and seeing older cards are, it's really neat because you didn't, we didn't really get to play them. Because this is a deck from 2003. And as Nick said, that's older than him. So me and him haven't had, haven't really played these cards at all. So, with that being said, these are neat cards for us. Yeah, because I started collecting around like black and white era. Mm -hmm. And and I've only been playing for the past five or six years. So, with that, we're gonna move along to the next next trainer we do have two of the energy recycle systems two of the energy recycle systems i think i mentioned it oh what well, mentioned miss it, it again i don't know all right whatever okay so the next one is we run three trainers of the potion and the potion is remove two damage counters from one of your pokemon remove and then it has in parentheses it has remove one damage counter if that pokemon only has one Oh. Which makes sense. Yeah. So. I was um I was online one time, and it was making fun of how the bottled water heals more than the scientifically proven Pokemon potion. Now, are we allowed to play potion now? Is that in our... Well, I don't think that one, because it's, it says damage counters out of 20. I'm pretty sure our potion now says 20 damage. And I'm really, I'm not sure. I think potion is potion, though. Like quick ball is quick ball, energy recycle system is energy recycle. Potion is potion is potion. So I would say if it's in ro I would say if it's in rotation we can play. So all right. Uh, our next card is a trainer, and it's a stadium card. It's the high pressure system. I've never seen this card before. This card stays in play when you play it. This card, this card, if another stadium card comes into play. And this says, what? It sounds like you're saying this card, this card. Like you say this card and this card, and it sounds. Oh, this card, this card. It does say it does that, but that's how it reads. Yeah, I, I can't yeah, help that. It rhymes. <laughs> but I can't really help it. it. Yeah, it is what it is. And it says here, <laughs> each player pays a colorless less to retreat his or her water and fire Pokemon. I said that wrong because it's fire and water <laughs> Pokemon not water and fire. It doesn't really matter. It, it One less to retreat if you're playing fire or water. So, it's good for this deck. It's not good for every deck. It's not even the best for this because we got colorless Pokemon that aren't water and fire. Yeah. So, uh, it's better than nothing though. I guess it helps out a little bit, but I, I'm not a I'm not a hardcore fan about it. It doesn't... I don't think it's the best card. So the next card we have is our first supporter, and it is TV Reporter. How's TV Reporter on Standard? I'm pretty sure TV Reporter is still in Standard. Alrighty. I couldn't tell you exactly what set TV Reporter's in, but what it says on... I want to say it's the same arc, though. Yeah, I think so. So... I could, I could be wrong. I don't know. You see a picture of it. Okay, so what it says here is you you can play only one supporter each turn. When you play this card, put the next put it next to your active Pokemon, then your turn ends discard this card. What? I yeah. Alright, let me read that again because it that sounds kinda strange to me. You can only play one supporter card each turn. We and we know that. When you play this card, put it next to your active Pokemon. When your turn ends, discard this card. Oh, oh so it's, what it's, they're saying is that yeah. you put it out so that you know you played your supporter. Yeah. That's what they're trying to yeah, do. Yeah. Because this is probably the time where they went from, oh, play whatever you want, to, yeah. eh, we're only going to play one supporter. Yeah, yeah. So they like to change up the rules on us. Uh, so, and what it says for the supporter, it says draw three cards. Then discard any one card from your hand. So you pick up three new cards, and then you discard anything you want. So you get rid of something that you don't want. And I run two of those. They run two in this deck. Then after that, I got all energy. Wow, that was kind of skimpy on the trainers. Real skimpy on the trainers, huh? 
not very nice of them. No. So. But again, this is when Pokemon was young. Right. And then, like we said, there were how many energies? Twenty-four. Twenty-four. All right, let's see how many cards there are. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, fire, 12 oh, fire. There's 12, yeah. So half our fire and, and half, half our water. water. All righty. So that's the, that's the whole deck. So the other things that come in here are a Salamance coin, which is a small coin, for obviously for flipping. It also comes with... Uh, damage counters. It comes with nine damage counters. Blue, ten damage damage counters. Yeah. Only nine, though. Oh, yeah. So... That's all you get is 90 damage. You only, you, yeah, you can only do 90 damage. I mean, you. the strongest Pokemon in here, I want to say, is a, has 100 HP, so it shouldn't be that big of a problem. Yeah, but if you damage two Pokemon... True. Where are you at, then? And then it comes <laughs> with... You could use quarters. I pennies. guess. I guess. And then it comes with a burn and a poison counter. So that comes with that too. It comes with your rule book. With uh, Latios and Latios on the front and back. Right. Dragon Pokemon. And kind of looking through this, it's pretty interesting. You know, it has your regular rules on how to play. Your basic rules. And then if you go kind of towards the back here... The back, where did I see it? Because I was kind of flipping through it a little bit. It has expert rules. Oh, so, that's for us. Yeah, so that is something to look at. We, we're, I'm going to read through it maybe next, uh, over while, between podcasts, and maybe kind of give you a heads up next time on what the expert rules are about. But uh, there are... Oh, yeah, good idea. Keep them in suspense, then they'll have to watch the next one, too. Right, there's there's twenty eight there's twenty eight pages in the rule book. Oh wow. And on the back the back page of the rule book they show the The Game Boy Advance. The Game Boy Advance for the E Reader, the next evolution in cards. The Nintendo E Reader and E Reader cards transform standard cards into software. Connect the E Reader to the Game Boy Advance or Nintendo GameCube and get the information new content, or games with a simple swipe. Oh, I love the GameCube. So these these are actually e-reader cards, I guess. Oh, are they? Well, well the yeah, trainers because... Aren't, but the Pokemon are. Right? Yeah, you can see on the bottom they have these little... Uh... Right, because it says e-reader on the back, so... Yeah, I like the, I like the newer e-reader cards. I'm not sure. If they're the ones with the big yellow on the side. Yeah, I'm not really sure either. So, and then they also have... Uh, a couple other things in the back here, which is pretty neat. They have Pokemon card battles, a uh, battle card, which is skin battle e trainer cards to face new trainers and the higher level Pokemon. You'll face Pokemon that you can't otherwise see in Ruby and Sapphire and wow. get new berries to plant and blend. That's exciting. Yeah, real exciting. I love new berries. Yeah, so they also have a, a add on here for Super Mario Brothers three. The one which, after Super Mario Bros. two, but before Super Mario World. Yeah, the that's one, weird. Yeah, it's a good one. It's well, a good game. Good yeah, to play. The ad, the ad is weird for the timing because that's for the NES, while the Game Boy Advance and GameCube were around a different time. You know what I mean? With a different Mario game, probably. So the fact that Super Mario 3 is kind of weird for the NES. Well, it's a, I mean, this is... Well, this ain't... I'm sorry, this ain't Super Mario Bros. 3. This is this is an e-reader card. So you can put your e-reader card in to play Super Mario Bros. 3. What? There's a Super Mario Bros. 3 ED card, e-reader card? Yep, it sure is. Well, that is pretty cool. Yeah. So, so that that comes in there and it comes in there. And then oh, yeah. the, last, the last and final thing that comes in there is that it is the... Uh, deck list. It is the Pokemon trading card game Dragon EX Dragon card list, which has a picture of Rayquaza on there. Which tell yeah. me that's not a cool looking picture. Yeah, of Rayquaza. The, yeah Rayquaza the is orange cool. and yeah, orange background with the green Rayquaza on it. 
Or Rayquaza. Rayquaza? Rayquaza? I don't know. Rayquaza? I'm not really sure. However you want to say it, it's Pokemon. Have fun <laughs> it's with Pokemon. It. So, on the first set, it has the complete Pokemon e-reader cards for EX, Ruby, and Sapphire card lists. There's 109 cards in that set. That's including energy. It ends with 103 just EXs, uh, up to EXs. So that's where it's the it's all ruby and Sa Sa ruby and sapphire, and then it also has a complete list of Pokemon cards of EX Sandstorm, which goes up to hundred hundred cards. No energy in that. It just has the EXs in there. It does have a rare candy in there, which is good. Huh. So, and then, finally, it has the complete list of EX Dragon card lists. Oh. And those are some of the cards we went over in this set, because this is EX Dragon. Yeah. And it has only 97 cards in there. So. Wow, now we're banking on like 214 cards. From all the way down from like 97, that's crazy. Yeah, right? Yep. So that's all that's really in the, this this box. It was a fun box to open. It was fun to look through the cards. Not a not a winner of a deck though, I wouldn't say. Um, if I was going against trainers, another trainer one of that magnitude, maybe. I don't know what else is out there for that time period. So we'd have sure. to see if it's something I, that can stand up to another deck of the same caliber. Yeah, look in. No, we got to look into it. Yeah. And um, so. Now, I was thinking, I had an idea of, we could do something, maybe even make it into a series, is what we can do is someone comment uh, just one card, and we could try to make a deck based off that card. Right? That's a good idea. Yeah, so, start, so if you, that's something you want to see, comment a Pokemon card, and we'll try to make it, I'm, and try to leave specifics, but if you don't, we'll, we'll do our best to figure it out. Right? And, uh, right now I'm working on a new deck, I'm working on the unknown deck, it's one of the decks that's being played a lot on TCG Online. It's the unknown with the hand, where if you have 33 cards in your hand, and your unknown is... 35, I believe. Is it 35? I will okay. say. Okay, we'll say 35 cards in your hand, and it's your active Pokemon, you automatically win the game. Crazy win condition. So there's a lot of, a lot of new cards... From Rebel Clash that help you do that, like the scoop up net. So, I am working on building that deck to see how it starts to play. I've been playing it a little bit online. It plays pretty pretty well online. A lot of fun. You lose Pokemon pretty quick, but that doesn't matter because you're trying to win a different way than your normal way of winning. Yeah. By yeah, yeah. knocking out Pokemon, or it is the unknown's ability. To win the game, yeah. So, I'm working on building that deck. Maybe we'll review that that next week. I don't know what's in sto store for next week, but I think that's all I really have for this week. Yeah, it's a shorter episode than normal. Is, well, I mean the deck is yeah holiday much... episode. Happy Independence Day, everyone. <laughs> that's it. Happy Independence Day. Happy Fourth of July. Enjoy the fireworks. So go ahead and post on our our web page, and we will respond to you. Yeah, we'll um... take a look on on YouTube. That's the where we normally post our videos, and we are working on trying to get some other platforms going. Yeah. So far, we are we've been busy with other things, but we will get to it, and we will let you know what we get out there. Yeah, and again, thank you for all the support on the last video. I mean, we got a lot of views compared to some of our other ones, especially like right after an hour, we had something like forty three views. I was shocked. Yeah, and, you know, hit the subscribe button, too. Yeah. So we uh, we get more people to watch, more people to listen. You know, the more people that we listen, the more people, you know, more more interaction we get from other people. Yeah, so. and if we start making money off this, we have more to spend on it, and we could maybe open up all sorts of things. Maybe we could do a whole booster box one time. Who knows? It's a toss-up, really. Right. right. Right now, we're just trying to start off and... Want more people to listen, so yeah. 
Well, thanks for listening to this episode, and we'll talk to you guys. We'll talk next time. Yeah, I'm Nick. I'm Dan. And this was Happy Vanna's Pokemon.